It's actually probably easier to just rip everything off and start over because there's too much work. I mean, all, all this has to be redone. It's a max flow with just a cutout. So we raised the gutter, but now it's low. And then... He... Look at that. I don't know. Right, so corner needs to be resealed. Something's happening here. Oh, we got a problem. No wonder that gutter was leaking. There's no outlet here. Customer calls saying the gutters are overflowing, the corner is overflowing. And the uh, downspout's here. Check this out. You got to clean out. You got, I mean, it's kind of in the wrong spot. The downspout should have been here. We got a max flow outlet. And it's still, it's still holding the water. So what is going on? Max flow outlet, it's still not working. Need to cover this piece of metal here. Here's the problem. There's no outlet. I mean, it's installed, but there's no outlet. <laughs> they started cutting it and then they forgot or something. So that's pretty wild. I'm now draining the water. I made a little hole here. So it's gonna get better. How a clean out works when you get a huge downpour, all your debris come right here and uh, nothing goes into the pipe. You get a little bit of a splashing, but most of the water ends up in the pipe and it's very functional, very nice. All right, so this gutter is not under the flashing. It's actually popping out of the flashing right here. It did not go up. This gutter needs to go up like another inch to reduce the thing here. This one's sloping my way and that one's sloping this way. So we got a problem here. If you look down the center, it's low. Gotta rip this gutter off. We got a huge gap right here. That's ridiculous. Why would you leave a gap like that? That is so dumb. Like, do it right, please. Whoever these gutter guys are, they need to go back to school and learn how to do gutters or stay off the job. I really hate redoing other company's stuff. We fixed that gutter best we could. We're taking this one off and you see this gutter guy, he installs this gutter, leaves a gap like that. Well, sir, can you just take a pair of snips and cut that all the way and then you can hammer it and you won't have any gaps thank you sir come on come on down i'll i'll do some training for you and this thing right here this extra little thing we're gonna chop that off all too all right so we fixed up the corner no more gap a little tiny one Fixed up the corner, cut off all the extra materials, re-sloped the gutter, raised it up quite a bit. And now we got positive slope. All and right, we're good. Covered it up with metal. Put a outlet cut out in there. Gutter's empty, gutter sealed. Very nice. Re-sloped it. I'm just gonna get the downspout installed. Downspout reinstalled. Um, I think the white one with the elbow offset is way better than having the bent thing like this. And we're covering the old spot. So I think this is gonna be good here. This outlet is the only one that's so far so good. The only thing it needs is glue. Smooth stuff out. We're on the back side. So the other thing I don't like is how these things are so tall here. It leaves a big gap here. You could potentially cut them off right here. And that's what we're gonna do. Gutter guys just don't get it. Look at this. This is real. This is how they left it. Million sharp edges. Not the best. This outlet, it's like pushing the gutters. Like, do people have common sense? And look at this downspout, it's like, wow. Surprise, surprise, max flow outlet. 
with a tiny hole. Last time I checked, we were supposed to put glue on the end caps. I don't see any glue. Put some glue in there. It looks like they ran out of glue because that end cap has clear glue. So obviously something happened. I reduced the size of the elbow, raised it up by like four inches, cut it straight, sealed everything. Same thing here. Reduce the ugly angle, make it more pretty like that, and closed up the gap. Right in here looks like a bigger gutter came in. And uh, instead of moving the strap, he just left the hole there. And uh, kind of tight down. But all you have to do is move the strap down just a bit. Instead of poking a new hole, it's ridiculous. I'm running out of time. I'm not sure what the, to do over here. This is all janky right here. No, Nothing holding in the back. Right, so here's the problem with clear glue. So this gutter is leaking right here, everywhere. And the clear glue doesn't help us because you can't see nothing. I mean, I can see right in there. Something's wrong, but we gotta lift this gutter. There's water in here. The other problem is this outlet's way too high right there. I don't know if you can see. So it's installed. The water has to rise half inch before it goes. So we're going to lower the gutter a little bit. Oh, and it's okay. Lower the gutter a little bit and uh, install a little screw here to hold it. And the water is flowing much better. Okay, now all the water is gone. We can see there's multiple holes. Don't ever use clear glue. It's a big, big no-no. This out, this glue. Actually, look at that. Look at that, did not even work. Wow, no wonder it was leaking. Okay, cleared out all the clear silicone junk. I'm gonna use a torch. Make sure it's nice and dry and I got it resealed with our professional gutter glue. Good to go.